Hi, my name is Manisha Shah. I'm a medical oncologist at The Ohio State University. I focus on endocrine cancers, including thyroid cancer, and my passion is to do clinical trials and develop new therapies for thyroid cancer. Option one is to make sure that one has gone through sufficient treatment with surgery, radioactive iodine therapy, uh, or external beam therapy. And if those therapies have been exhausted and used, uh, cancer is still active, uh, then we take into consideration of next series of options. And that includes, uh, one is what we call close observation or wait and watch. Second is to start treatment with tyrosine kinase inhibitor or multi-kinase inhibitor. Uh, third option could be to do clinical trials. Fourth option could be to do something what we call regional therapy, such as radiation to a painful bony metastasis. So at the moment, I want to focus on this first option, which is close observation or wait and watch option. Because many patients come to us and say, hey, listen, I have stage four thyroid cancer, and how come my doctor told me just that we're gonna keep an eye on it? And uh, that really relates to uh, the information that uh, we know that currently available treatments, such as all the options I alluded, are not gonna cure the cancer. Uh, what we do know is that they could control the cancer, they could impact on quality of life, uh, they might impact on longevity of life, but at the moment we have no information that if I give particular treatment option, that one is gonna live a lot longer than they would otherwise, or that their cancer would be cured. So we always have to weigh the risk and benefits of every option, um, and if the cancer is perhaps not that much, meaning that even though it's spread to the lungs, but it's really in a small amount, or that it's a relatively good-sized tumors, but they're still stable over the last several months or several years, uh, then we could be okay uh, in terms of wait and watch as opposed to starting actively on a treatment. Uh, other scenario could be that the cancer is not really in a danger zone. So cancer is not in the midline, uh, it's not invading the trachea or airways. Uh, it's not putting pressure on uh, any of those uh, serious organs. So basically, when we say wait and watch approach, what we mean by is that we're gonna do close observation to monitor your cancer much better, uh, much closely, uh, and making sure that the cancer doesn't get out of control before we start treatment. The reason not to start treatment right away is because treatments can have potential side effects. Uh, some of them can be managed very easily. Some takes a while to manage, and others are really unmanageable and they could be dangerous. Dangerous side effects are not very common, fortunately. They are, you know, one to two percent, but that they are really dangerous where a person could actually die as a result of side effect. So we just want to make sure that we're not hurrying up and using up option uh, that otherwise may not impact on longevity or quality of life uh, in a good way, but actually can hamper quality of life. What genetic testing is, is simply to take a tube of blood from a person uh, who is diagnosed with medullary thyroid cancer and test that blood uh, for a gene called RAT gene to see if that RAT gene is completely normal or that it's mutated. If red gene is mutated, that means that person has a hereditary medullary thyroid cancer, and that helps their physician to find out what more could be going on in that person besides medullary thyroid cancer. Because in this genetic syndrome, uh, besides medullary thyroid cancer, person can have number of uh, different medical conditions that can be diagnosed if we knew that person had a red genetic testing positive. And those uh, diseases could include high parathyroid levels called hyperparathyroidism, or a pheochromocytoma, which affects the adrenal glands. None of these are cancers, but they could cause a pretty life-threatening condition that otherwise could be prevented and treated very effectively. Uh, besides helping that person uh, be diagnosed and treated for appropriate associated health conditions, there is a huge advantage of doing genetic testing because uh, these can be genetically transmitted. So 
that means that that person's siblings, parents, children should be tested for this particular genetic condition. And if that genetic condition uh, is diagnosed early, then ex for example, cancers like medullary thyroid cancers can be really cured if not prevented. Uh, so that person doesn't have to live with lifelong journey of cancer. Thank you.